He's the old prospector sitting on a gold mine in his own backyard. Neville's dying wish is to find that nugget to set up his family. But instead of digging, he's busy battling red tape and he's running out of time. It's a disgrace. It really is a disgrace. I'm sorry. It's these moments Neville Perry lives for. Bye bye. <laughs> How are you going? Sharing a coffee around the campfire with his wife Denise, his children and grandkids. Having that time with my grandchildren while I can. That's that's what I wanted that's all I wanted in life. Family time never more precious than right now. I've got uh, lung lymphomic and bone cancer. It's um, the hardest thing, Zeb, the hardest thing I ever had to do, mate, was tell my wife and kids that I'm terminal with cancer and um, see the grandkids running around. It's, it's, um, you just start thinking about what you're going to miss. Dr Sainev has two years, but it's not in his nature to give up. He's always looked for the silver, or is that gold lining? I had a car accident when I was younger and uh, ended up, you know, uh, through re rehabilitation and took up metal detecting as part of that rehabilitation process. Neville found his calling in an industry steeped in Australian history. Nev became a gold prospector. The very first piece of gold I found, it was so tiny, it was the size of a match head, but it was so good. You, you, you're just pumping, you know, um, but it, it's such a good feeling. For 30 years, Nev's been at it, and the gold game is no easy ride. It takes patience, and for every good day, there's plenty of others full of hard work and long hours for no return. But he's never stopped dreaming about finding that nugget that might set up his family. For ever since I've been in the prospecting game, uh, I've been doing research on this particular property in uh, Denali, just out of Denali, uh, Victoria. And uh, the history that this place had um, really sort of, you know, it, it, it caught my attention. After decades of research, Nev bought the property in 2016, the land coming with a right to mine. I've got such a good belief what in what is still in that ground. I, I was prepared to take that chance, prepared to take the risk. And because it's my super, it's my whole life, it's my future, it's my kid's future. You know, that's what it comes down to. And the thrill of the chase. With land and cultural assessments completed and a permit secured, things started to look good for Nev as he searched the 500-acre lot littered with holes dug during the original gold rush. But three years after buying the land, the Victorian government, through agency Heritage Victoria, put a halt on Nev's dream, stopping him from digging further by listing the old mining holes on the Heritage Register. For three years, we've now been stopped from working. Uh, on the basis of protecting the landscape of the old diggers' holes for the visual view of the public. So these holes were dug in the 1850s and 60s? Correct, yeah. They've only just decided to do it. They, you know, there's millions of them in public land, but apparently the ones on our freehold land are more important. And he's right. There are other old dig sites. We didn't have to look too hard to find other blocks full of mining holes from the 1860s, just like the ones you'll find at Neville's place. They're all over the Victorian goldfields, except you won't find any intervention from Heritage Victoria here. The question is, why is Neville being treated differently? We met fellow prospector John Bates on another such digging. So there's nothing too special about the mining shafts we find on Neville's property? No, no different than anywhere else in the Victorian goldfields. Neville's now facing huge legal costs for the right to mine his land. He's written to Victorian Planning Minister Richard Wynne and Heritage Victoria about his cancer battle and the mental health impacts of the litigation. The response from Heritage Victoria, reading in part, general practitioners are highly trained to conduct mental health assessments. So you've told the government this is impacting your health. They've written back and said, go to the doctor. Well, go to hell, pretty much. Is that what it feels like? That's what it feels like. 
Thankfully, Neville finds compassion at home. Dad is my typical hero. Nev, you've spent your life chasing gold. I reckon with the kids, the grandkids, the missus, you got something pretty precious here at home. Well, they're, 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 they're gold to me. But the Goldfields also has a history of standing up to injustice. And though Sunset might be approaching for Nev, he plans to use the time he has left to fight for his family's future. I can't give up, Zeb. I, I, I refuse to give up. My family means the world to me and always has, always will. And uh, I know they feel the same. We also sent questions to Heritage Victoria and the Victorian Planning Minister on Neville's behalf. The Planning Minister chose not to comment ahead of future proceedings and we're yet to hear from Heritage Victoria. We wish Neville all the best.